in terms of the traits that I think a, a, a good trader have has, it, it, it really is an understanding of greed and fear, in, in, in my opinion. Uh, the, the most successful traders I consistently see are people who write options. Now, for, for, for those of you who are familiar with options, if you write them, you're limiting your potential profit, but you face unlimited losses. Now, that sounds strange. Why, someone, why would someone sign up for a product that has limited profit or limited upside, but unlimited downside? And the way that I kind of feel that I kind of, that makes me feel that the options writer has really understood fear and greed. He's choosing to trade a product that, that actually uh, there's limited upside and unlimited downside. So I, from my perspective, that means that the, the, the writer of an options has really understood what he wants out of the market, and that's why he's successful. So, so I mean, the next question is greed is good, or is it? Yeah, absolutely. You could even ask... Are you, the, 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 the one kind of tip I can give any trader, and in fact, uh, 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 anybody who trades successfully and as, as longevity has and follows the rules that they have. And greed just can't be used as a rule. If you decide that, the, the, that a particular market has 5% upside, you get out when it's 5% up. You don't look at it and think, oh, I could make a little bit more money. How can one manage the inevitable drawdown? I think that's part and parcel of the... the, the, the this, my answer is the same as the, the last question. Um, you stop losses. And where clients sometimes make mistakes is they choose a stop loss, which is the maximum amount they would like to potentially risk on a trade. And from my perspective, that's the wrong way of determining where you want a stop loss. Actually, what it should be is putting it at the level that if the market goes to there, you're glad to be out. You've, you've made the wrong decision in trading. So actually, you should be relatively comfortable with the drawdown because it's at that point that you didn't want to be in the trade in the first place. What kind of skills and character traits make a good trader? I think what makes a good trader um, is that that, that following the guidelines and the discipline that they've set themselves uh, to follow.